biggest fear waking up in the mornings is like, you know, you're listening to the news as you're getting ready for work, and they're like, yeah, that's it, everything's been cured, it's all over, just go home and be, be like, what, what's there left to do now? And all of us would just be standing at the gates of like UCL in our white coats, kind of blinking into the sunshine that's so unfamiliar. But I don't know, maybe we should just watch reruns of like Fringe and CSI and point out all the inaccuracies? Um, but that's just Friday night. <laughs> Anyways, so that's all my science crap. Uh, I was going to move on to the fact that, I don't know, um, there's some random stuff, because like, I am trying weird, random new things. Um, I watch a lot of films, and I watch a lot of films that are like indie films, so they're supposed to be more realistic. And so you never get a full sense of closure at the end of them. And um, there's always like the baddies who don't get their comeuppance. And I recently, I don't know if it's just my brain worked it out just to give myself some psychological closure, but I figured out where they all go. And it ends up that they work at independent coffee shops around Soho. Because I think that actually is sentenced to their real life hell. Because have you ever met a person who's worked in one of those that doesn't look like it's their personal hell? Like, it looks like the last thing they want to do is like make you a double espresso. They're all so cranky. Because um, like, yeah, whenever you go up to them and you ask for your coffee, they just look at you and they're just like, I'm wearing an ironic t-shirt and boat shoes with no, shoe, uh, with no socks. What have you done with your life? I just forgot about that. Um, but yeah, it's just like they're pretty much as hipstery as like, you know, a Polaroid camera that gives you instant sepia photos for like instant nostalgia. It's just that's what they feel like when you meet them. Um, anyways, coffee people.